And it was pretty good. Um, felt good to be out there. You know, felt good to be out there with my brothers on primetime night. Um, it didn't get any better than that. And, uh, man, it was just a wonderful feeling out there. Looking forward to this for a long time. What, what were the emotions? How do you kind of keep all that in check? Man, I was just like, man, this is just... As you ask me that question, it's tough to answer because I'm trying to keep my emotions. But, uh, man, it was just like, man, it was it was crazy. Uh <sighs> I'm sorry, cause you know my mind is, but uh, it was just I was looking for this, looking forward to this for a while, and um, they gave me, the, they called my name, and I was like, man, I gotta go up there and make plays, you know. Seeing Ben Roethlisberger out there, trying not to be starstruck by anything, you know, because he's a Hall of Fame player, and just seeing all these guys and just being out there for the first time, it was a wonderful, like I said, it was a wonderful feeling to be out there, man. Did you have an idea of how much you were gonna play? Uh, no, you know, uh, coach said he was gonna rotate, you know, um, and uh, I did my job right there. Whenever you put me in. That, that, I think it was the third down play on uh, one of their late drives where you make the stop. Can you take us through that one? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, uh, I had uh, I had the bell. You know, we were covered four quarters. Uh, so I had the bell with my man. And I saw that it was third and four, you know, uh, pre-snap. You know, I saw it uh, down in distance. And so I covered the curl. And I knew when Ben Roethlisberger started scrambling, he was going to dump it off to that guy. So uh, I didn't think I just had to go, you know. Put, uh, put the pedal to the metal and just run uh, and get a third down stop because that's they needed the first down more than anything and they were backed up to the uh, their other end zone. And so uh, that's when I went and go trigger and pulled the trigger. Why did you think he was going to dump it? Because uh, uh, his, his shoulders were turned and uh, he was only turning to him. And I already, like I said before, I uh, already covered the uh, curl route and there was two guys already, you know, right there around him. So when you when you're scrambling and you're scrambling to that side and there's one receiver over there and that guy's left open, and you got three guys over there on that one receiver, you're going to dump it off to that guy just to get the first down and be safe. So uh, that's when I just knew I had to go make that play. You've been watching these guys unable to do anything for two months. What if this whole time you knew you could have contributed or thought you could contribute? Uh, I mean, you know, just watching those guys, uh, you know, for me, first and foremost, I had to enjoy the process. You know, uh, being injured, you know, for that, for that while is no fun. And uh, so uh, talking to my uh, talking to my close teammate Bobby, uh, he helped me, you know, through that whole process with my mental, how to handle a lot of things, and uh, just not being able not being able to uh, play with those guys. Uh, it was it was pretty tough, but uh, I had to control my emotions and be a, a leader on the sideline. And uh, when my number was called, I was going to go out there and make those plays that I know I can make. Wagner, this is Wagner you're talking about? What you say, sir? Bobby Wagner. Yes, sir. Up to where you're getting some starting reps in training camp and look like you're competing and then have the injury come up one day. Just how tough is that? Yeah, it was tough, you know, because, you know, um, at first, I didn't have no one to look to. You know, uh, I keep a lot of things uh, to myself. So just dealing with those things sometimes is not a good deal, deal to uh, – deal to do and so for me to just reach out to Bobby you know and him just because he's been in that position before and for him to walk me through those things man it was just it just became a lot easier and it just made it much more sweeter out there you know knowing that I get to play primetime game and go out there and just make those plays and everybody see you out there on the field so I just had to go make those plays and it was just a wonderful feeling. What was the best piece of advice that Bobby gave you? Man, just enjoy the process you know because once you get out there and you didn't enjoy the process you're going to forget what it took to get here. You know, and uh, that's one thing that stuck with me uh, with Bobby, man. He's a he's a great mentor on and off the field, man. He's just a great person. And uh, he just taught me to just be patient, you know, because when you make those plays, man, it's just going to be feel much more sweeter that you had to go through those things. Can you take us back to the summer, how you got hurt in the first place? <clears throat> uh, yeah, um, <clears throat> it was a preseason game. Um, uh, I was on uh, punt, I was on punt return and uh, I hyperextended my AC, well, I hyperextended my knee and strained my ACL, and so I was out for that for a while for that one. Then my left knee was kind of, I was kind of dealing with an injury since since high school with my left knee. So uh, shout out to those guys for you know taking care of me and make sure while I was healing with my right knee that they um, that they were gonna uh, help me with my left knee so I can be the best player that I can be. And uh, man, just looking back on it, that was the best decision I've ever made. What was the locker room like after the game? Sorry. What was the locker room like after the game? Everybody was encouraging, you know. Um, <clears throat> you know, we lost the game, but, you know, uh, we still got a lot to it's – a, it's a long season, you know. So everybody's like, you know what, let's keep our heads up. You know, we got a lot to do, you know. And uh, when we get the ball rolling, it's going to feel much more sweeter like it then again, you know, going through this process. And uh, just when we start winning again, it's just going to feel a lot better. Thanks, Trey. <clears throat> no, no problem. Thank you. Thank you, guys.